All right, we got a little update. We spent the weekend here after it was dropped off. As you can see, I had some extra cinder blocks, so I threw some temporary stairs up. I'll build some actual ones when the time comes. Um, so we got quite a bit done. A lot of work, but more importantly, a lot more play. Kids really like coming out here, and I don't want to burn them out on it. But here's my inlet for the electric for the generator. Uh, I got this little adapter here on Amazon for about 15 bucks. See, it's got a male plug in there. Was not easy to wire up just because of the size of the back of the plug. But after fighting with it a little bit, it did. It was doable. But that's my direct line in from the generator. Generator sits over in this area. Let um, me show you what we got down inside. Wife decided to add some solar lighting. <clears throat> so, like I said, we got the elect got the generator section of the electric powered up. We're coming in there, right there. I mean, this plug is going to run strictly off generator. This one I'm going to wire to the inverter because the kitchen cabinets are going to go right in this area. Pardon my hair matches just to block the window while we're gone. And then we got a plug for the AC and then just an extra plug. All three of those will run on the, strictly on the generator with the exception of that extra one I put over above the kitchen counter. Um, got our loss put in. We now have, this one's seven and a half foot. I figured it would be sufficient for the kids. Uh, was, we're gonna put a ladder up back here on this wall so they'll come through a hole here I'll build a little fence up there and each one of them will get their own twin mattress which fits on a seven foot loft so we have plenty of time by the time they all grow it they'll be tired of camping with mom and dad and want to be sleeping outside the tent anyway and then here's the master bedroom if you will it, uh, it's an eight foot by nine foot loft uh, again we extended it out four foot where we thought it was supposed to be you know it was up in here uh, but that's really all we got done this weekend like I said it was more important for us to play as much as work so we wanted to make sure the kids had a good time we got our first housewarming present from my my stepmother she thought it was really sweet of her to bring it but I give you guys kind of a floor plan here I already said that's gonna be the master so that's where my, my, my wife and I'll sleep is up here be for the kids it's gonna be a railing that goes all the way across so they can't fall out um, we'll put a light on each side so nobody fights over who gets a light this side there'll be a light a center light for me and my wife there's gonna be some recessed lighting here in the ceiling to go over the kitchen cabinets which by the way I'm building an old pallet wood I'm really looking forward to how that's gonna turn out um give me a front porch light run through here it's me sticking out right there. Uh, and then we're going to put another outlet on that wall. It's going to come out there so my wife can plug in. She wants to run some string lights or something out here. Um, going to be a small closet back here in this corner. going to be a Murphy table here under this window. And we haven't, sure, we haven't decided what we're going to do about a floor yet. We're debating on carpet or some sort of laminate just to get off this plywood but <clears throat> this is our little home away from home off the grid kind of thing and next weekend's plans are to start running for the solar power um, all the lighting will be run on 12 volts off the solar system I'll be an inverter to run a couple of outlets that all in all, pretty pretty simple system. The panel box is going to go here. I'll build it into the wall. Um, yeah. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll be back out next weekend, and we'll start running some more wires. And we'll uh, see how things go. Guys, take it easy.